by Zeus. I would have been a goner there if it wasn't for you. Lucky I came by. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Epi. Well, Epizilos, but my friends call me Epi. Not that I have friends, necessarily. I'm Alexios. Charm. You have the look of someone used to being out in the world. You look like you shouldn't be outside on your own. At all. It can't be helped. I've been overcome with adventure. I have, in my possession, a Mykinian tablet that leads to a sacred burial site. I'm calling it the Cave of the Oracle. Good for you. Mykinians were known for their elaborate grave sites, full of precious things. How precious? Ancient jewelry, ceremonial swords and daggers, so very precious. If you escort me, I'll show you. How can I turn down a promise of precious things? What's this? Stay back. They seem drawn to this place. I hadn't expected that. Does this have to do with... Uh, ...whatever that name was you said? The Mykinians? I don't see how they could know. It must be related to Trophonios. I'll observe them and see what I can learn. Fine. I'll search further inside. Wait! Take this steely piece. See if there are markings that match it. We're in the right place. Unfortunately, my friend, it's been looted. All I found was this armor. That is highly significant. The Mykenians were a warrior culture, you know. So this must be a warrior's tomb. Huh. Well, it's a decent piece, but where's the rest of it? Hmm. That was only one part of the stele. If we can find the others, I can decipher the text. Maybe that will reveal more armor. The rest of the stele you speak of could be anywhere. If I can find clues for where to look, are you interested in finding the other stele pieces? I'll look for the others. Excellent! Now, I need to see those markings. Let's go inside. I didn't expect the steely keystone to actually be a... key. I wonder what happens when all of them are in place. Even with only part of the steely, I can start to decipher the writing. What does it say? Um... I think that says, of the gods. Really? To think you were someone yelling for help not long ago. Look at me now. I think you're going to need all of them, though. According to this, it seems that the steely pieces have been deliberately separated. I wonder why they were separated on purpose. It doesn't matter if we can find them. Will you look for the other steely pieces? Of course. Where should I look? According to this, the next steely is... Oh, better you than me. I can't swim. Explore the ruins of Arni. What's the connection between this tomb and those worshippers? The writing mentions of the gods. It's not clear which gods, though. Once we decipher more, we should understand the connection. The armor must belong to the ancient warrior. But why remove it and spread it out across the lands? Good question. It must have something to do with the text. So these markings are an ancient language? Mykenian. There are languages even older than that, which have been lost. When this died out, sadly, we fell into a dark age. Time for me to go. Your clue was right. I found a part of the stele, along with another piece of armor. There must be a piece of armor with each missing stele. But why? This section here refers to a ritual. It doesn't explain why the armor was separated and hidden with a stele piece. Uh, maybe that was part of the ritual? We need to find the other stele pieces. Are you ready? If we found these, then we'll find the other stele pieces too. I'll go look. Even with the full keystone in place, some of the meaning may be lost on us. I have faith in you. Oh! You won't believe what this section says. Of the primordial gods. Primordial! That's interesting. That's ancient. It could just be a prayer on behalf of the warrior. That's what I thought too. Until I read this part. There's more. It mentions that the ritual will be activated. 
What ritual? I have no idea. I'm presuming it means we need all of the steelies in place before something happens. Do you have the location for the missing piece? This text is hard to make sense of. It appears to be a warning. Be careful when you explore the tomb of Orion. I'll be careful. The Dark Age has had its time. Why look backward? There is truth and insight in looking backward. Take Homer, for example. He often spoke of our past in his stories. Hmm. So digging through dirt and cobwebbed words is your ambition? My role is to breathe life into the ancients. Do any of your peers support you in this? None. My ways are too different for them. If you're right, you'll gain their respect after this. Do you worry that your expectations are too high? It may be a dead end. How can it? The clues have proven me right thus far. The steely mentions a ritual that once performed will activate something. What does that have to do with primordial gods? I have no idea. When we have all the steely pieces, we'll know. Time to go. Whatever you're after, you're too late. They're all gone. Dead or mad. I don't understand. Who did this to you? I don't understand it myself. My brethren and I were drowned to this place, but madness took over. We fought over the artifact. One of them grabbed it and ran. Grabbed the steely? Searched the caves. That's where they'll be hiding. Beware the... <coughs> They're beyond reason. <coughs> There may be some truth in this lore. Oh, is that blood on it? It's otherwise undamaged. There are people claiming that it speaks to them. What could do that? Strange. I don't hear anything. Do you? Words of madmen. Perhaps the next pieces will tell us more. This one needs a good cleaning. Let's hope the remaining ones are fine. I'll search for the remaining steelies. My peers will finally listen to what I have to say. It says the ritual will activate something. But what? What will happen when we have all the pieces? Will it lead to a treasure? Some of the translation is lost on me. This passage speaks of worth. Huh. What else? Um... This passage mentions something about inner vision. But the meaning is unclear. It's almost translated. Why aren't you happy? You tell me others are hearing things. They think it speaks to them. Yet I hear nothing. I feel nothing. This is an important find. You said so yourself. Why does it matter what others say or feel? I know. I see that it's important from a logical perspective. But what if I can't experience it? And this mention of worth... What if it means I'm not worthy? What if the gods are not worthy of us? Look, we aren't done yet, right? So wait and see. You're right. Time to dust yourself off and focus. You're right. We should carry on. There are two locations to explore this time. There's a temple in the city of Orchomenos. It's near the harbor. The other stele is difficult to pinpoint. There are ruins along the coastline, near the altar for Iphigenia. All right then. And cheer up. We're almost done. Is nothing sacred? Ancient and valuable relics were housed in this temple. Now the scum has taken it all and burned it down. They've burned it to cover their tracks. The scum ran off towards town with an armload of our most sacred items. Likely in the beggar's quarter, from the look of him. <sighs> I hate the water. I've given up fishing. I serve the gods now. Fishing's a worthy occupation. What caused such a change? A sudden storm. As if the gods themselves stepped on Earth. The ship keeled over and sank. Right out there. The gods saved me. Did this happen after you picked up a stone relic? Well, I might have used some temple rock as a boat anchor. Nothing of value. It's good that the gods delivered you to safety. I found the final steely pieces. All of the armor has been found as well. I can hardly contain myself. This will be life-changing, hero. Primordial gods, worth, inner vision. What can it all mean? We'll know soon enough, when you finish translating. Yes, you're right. The steely needs to be assembled. Come. 
This is the cusp of a great discovery. Will the gods speak to us? What will I say to them? What will they say to me? Does it matter? Perhaps when you read it. Yes, yes. Hmm. Only those who possess inner vision, a gift of the primordial gods, will be deemed worthy to wield power of the great Deep Sea. Deep Sea? What do you make of that? I am amazed. I don't understand. There's no change that I see. It's the same place as when we first arrived. Look around you. I see nothing. What do you see? The room has come to life. The gods are speaking to us. How can that be? Why can't I see any of this? Why should the gods not present themselves to me? I promise you, I have no idea. Is it because I'm not worthy? Do you have inner vision? It isn't fair. Epi, you have the tomb. And there will be other discoveries. Enough. Just leave me. Can you please leave? I don't understand. Mistios, may I trade your time for wealth? You look wiser than the average mercenary. Perhaps you're nearly as wise as Athena herself. You speak plainly, Auntie. I speak the truth, Alexios. You know me? Don't pretend to be ignorant of your infamy, Alexios the Eagle Bearer. I have a series of tasks I thought someone of your reputation could handle. But if you feel you're not up to it... What kind of tasks? To begin, I have a test of judgment. Which god is more dangerous, Poseidon or Apollo? The answer lies in a nearby tomb. This is just a riddle. Riddles are telling and rewarding when I give them. Prove your worth to me by going to the graveyard near the sanctuary of Athena and solving it. Fine. I'll figure out this riddle. Here lies my father, a simple farmer. A lion tore him to pieces as he brought in his grain. May the gods grant him peace. A golden plate marked with the sun. An offering dedicated to Apollo and his youthful strength. Lions are a golden beast with manes like the sun. Surely they are the favorite of Apollo. Does that make him the more dangerous god? A model ship as an offering to Poseidon. Clearly someone feared death in the sea. Here lies my brother, a brave man. He was chosen to confront the enemy threatening our village. But his ship sank, and sharks feasted on his flesh. What little parts were found, I sealed in this tomb. Sharks are under the command of Poseidon, as are all creatures of the sea. Is he the more dangerous god? Protect us from teeth that tear and beasts that bite. Sounds like a child's prayer. You! I know who you are! Athena sent you to kill me! Why would you think that? I was to be tried for murder, but a great fire burned up the courts and all the records. I walked free, but lately I've heard Athena in my dreams saying I would meet justice. And here you are. An old woman hired me to come here. You weren't part of that contract. But lose your temper, and I might change my mind. I know what Athena told me. I'll face my death blade first. You spent enough time in the graveyard. What did you find? How did you know I actually went? I have my ways. Is there dirt on my sandals? A look in my eye. It seems to me you're good at figuring people out. Perhaps. But I want to know which god you think is more dangerous, Poseidon or Apollo. Why are you so interested in knowing? Because I have two tasks that require the attention of Amistios. But I can trust the easier task to nearly anybody. I'm going to assign the more dangerous one to you, naturally.
There was a farmer attacked by a lion while he harvested his crops. An attack by a golden beast under the shining sun. Surely that is the work of Apollo, making him the more dangerous god. Gold is a seductive danger in many ways. Yes, Apollo is a sensible choice. I'm glad you agree. You've wisely considered the subject. I approve. Take this. It's for your judgment. You ask for my judgment, but you seem to be judging me. Am I? Consider this. Lions don't usually eat farmers unprovoked. So you think something is pushing the lions to behave strangely? I'm sure you could find out what that is and help the locals with their lion problem. You'll find them in Argolis, east of the Ipermnistra camp. I'll see what I can do. We don't get many mysterious around here. What's your business with us? I'm here to take care of your lion problem. How do you know about the curse of beasts? I visited the tomb of a farmer who fell victim to the curse of beasts. You have my sympathies. Thank you. It's comforting to know that strangers from afar will show us kindness. Tell me more about this curse. It's horrible. Lions have been attacking our village, slaughtering livestock and ruining food stores. And then, one of them killed my nephew. The lion ran away, a leg hanging from his jaw. It's nearly indescribable. Strange that the Tiriniti man hole right there. You have the cold reason of Athena to notice that. The lions are swimming all the way from Aegean Island to attack us. No one dares set out fishing nets anymore. I'll track down these beasts for you. Thank you. May the gods let you remove the curse on us. What are you doing here? This island is dangerous. Dangerous for you, maybe. <laughs> My brothers will take care of me. Your brothers? You mean the lions? Yes. Once we hunted together. <clears throat> now that I'm sick, they hunt and bring me meat. When my strength returns, I will rejoin them. I'm nearly well enough now. The lions are attacking the villagers across the water. Their leader sent me here. Do you understand what those beasts are doing? Lions do what they must. <laughs> Though I suppose if I was better, they wouldn't need to hunt for me. Some olive tree bark should make a good medicine. Your story is madness. I'm going to protect those villagers by killing the lions. My brothers! No! And on that island, you should be safe now. What a bold act. You must be the most powerful Mysterios in the land. Here, take this. Thank you. Lions won't trouble that village anymore. I had nearly no doubt. How did you judge best to solve their problem? I killed every last lion on that island. There is nothing left to threaten those villagers. A response as fierce as that of the lions themselves. Why do you think it will be successful? I do what anyone can do. I consider the situation and make what I believe is the best decision at the time. If I'm right or wrong, only time will tell. Ah, yes. I believe I understand you better. What's to understand? Everything in this world is worth understanding. A reward for demonstrating your wisdom. Thank you. Is that all you want? Not if you wish to enrich yourself further. You have already faced an island full of lions. Would you discover the secrets of an island wreathed in fire and smoke? I'll see the truth of this island. Good. You're very nearly impressing me. Oh, really? I should be impressed. I would like to send you to an island of smoke and flame, but an associate of mine still has my key to the vault within. Without it, your trip would be in vain. Are they as strange as you? That's nearly amusing. My associate lives in the graveyard you visited for me earlier. He lives as a hermit. He'll have time to talk, even to you. I'll go reclaim your key. Hello, Nimi. I knew you'd be back. The owl knows. She's Athena's favorite bird, you know. I'm here for the key to the vault. Then what are you doing here? <laughs> That's nearly ridiculous. So you're telling me it's not here? I hid it somewhere safe. 
is underwater in the Ariavigny shipwreck. That doesn't sound very safe. How could it not be safe, surrounded by so many defenders? Why do I never get the easy jobs? Who knows? <laughs> You certainly didn't make finding that key easy. <laughs> but it certainly wasn't boring. I'll get back to that woman now. He ought to have. I paid him well enough to do so. Where exactly are you getting your drachmi from? I have very few needs and spend only on what I find important. I'm very nearly thrifty. Now that I have the key, is there anything else I need to prepare to visit the Island of Fire? You tell me, Mistios. Do you feel prepared to explore the foundry of Ephestos? Wait, you're not going to ask me a strange question first? Perhaps I'll think of one later. I'm ready to explore that island. Very good. You are proving your worth. Am I now? I'm impressed. There is an island swathed with clouds of smoke, where the earth blazes with fire. It's called the Foundry of Ephestos. A legendary helmet is kept there. Bring it here so I might study it. Seems like a dangerous journey for just a helmet. It's not nearly the only treasure there. You can keep anything else you find. All right. I'll go to the island and find the helmet. That burning island and trapped tomb, you could say they were nearly a challenge. Even for you. You exaggerate, Eagle Bearer. But did you find the helmet? Of course I did. But how could you have known about such a terrible place? And who are you to send me there? Who do you think I am, Alexios? Some say I show great wisdom. Others say I am wisdom herself. Tell me, who do you think I am? You sent me to a graveyard, where I met a desperate man who said Athena herself had sent me to kill him. But I suppose that could mean he only thought you were Athena. It's unwise to give too much credit to the rantings of a madman. Then you sent me to a village threatened by lions, with a strange wild man at the center of it all. Was that a divine test of wisdom, or just a coincidence? You sent yourself to the village. I only provided the opportunity. Finally, that strange hermit with the key. He was even under a statue of Athena's icon, the owl. Did you set that all up as a joke, or is there truth in his beliefs? So many thoughts in that head of yours. It's nearly too much to contemplate. Make your decision, Alexios. As grandson of Leonidas, bearer of the bloodline, I must recognize you as Athena. This helmet you have asked me to return bears your own blessing. If this is true, I should accept your recognizance. But for now, let me see that helmet. I hope this was worth it. You have great faith in humanity. I hope you see it for both its potential and its failings. I'll make an adjustment and... Yes, I think this will be best suited for you. Thank you. I hope you've gained some wisdom from this journey. Yes, I've learned that profit can come from the strangest sources. Your voice would have made Odysseus tear himself from the mast of his ship. Who are you? What are you doing here? Speak before I cut you! Gods, how I've missed that temper. Alexios? Is it really you? I got your note. How did you know I was in Arcadia? Everyone's hunting for the Mystios with the broken spear and pet eagle. So I started a little hunt of my own. 
No matter where I used to hide on Kefalonia, you were the only one who could always find me. That's because you were terrible at hiding. Me? You're the one who couldn't hide if your life depended on it. Listen, we both know I was the one who was best at hiding. I'll prove it. Stay here, close your eyes, and at the count of ten, come and find me. You're joking. Come, it'll be like old times. And no using Icaros, that's cheating. Now, close your eyes. Anna, Dio, Tria, Tessera, Bende, Exi, Efta, Octo, Enea, Deca. Ready or not, here I come. You call this hiding? Your tracking skills have improved. It feels like forever since we've seen each other. I couldn't wait to find you. When did you become so charming? Since I got your note. Oh, this is too much fun. I want to hear everything about your life, from the day I left until now. And I want to hear about yours. No, <laughs> my story would put you to sleep. Come, let's go to the beach and talk like we used to in Sami. Your life sounds so exciting, but there's something very important I need to know. Can you still hold your breath? My breath? On Kefalonia, you could always swim farther and deeper than anyone else. You used to bring me the most beautiful treasures from the sea. Don't move. You were underwater so long I was getting worried. A few sharks got in the way. Sharks? Nothing I couldn't take care of. I did manage to find you this. Oh, Alexios, it's beautiful. <laughs> Anais? What's wrong? Seeing you playing and laughing like old times. There's something I haven't told you. I'm married. I see. I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. Meet me back at the house. I'll explain everything. Oh, I'm glad you came. So you're married. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Seeing you brought back so many fond memories. I wanted to live in them for as long as I could. Life's been hard since Dantos left. Where did he go? Once the war started, Spartans came for his sword. He was killed in battle, leaving me to run the farm and raise our son. You have a son? Arion. <laughs> I'd love for you to meet him, but he's run off again. Why aren't we looking for him? He always goes to the same cave, where he trains to be a mighty warrior. Training alone encourages bad habits. Yes, of course. You've given me an idea. You could talk to him. I could? <laughs> Gods know he doesn't listen to his boring mother. But you've seen death up close. You could convince him to stay away from fighting and help me here on the farm. All right. I'll talk to your son. Thank you. How should I introduce myself without scaring the boy? Tell him you're a friend of his mother's from Kefalonia. The one with the eagle. The stories I've told him about you are his favorites. Is there anything about your son's father I should know? To help me connect with him. Dantos broke his finger, working the fields. It healed crooked. When Arion asked about it, my husband said he was so strong as a baby, he grabbed it and snapped it like a twig. <laughs> this is how we knew he was blessed by Heracles. I'll find Arion. My husband used to take him to the cave on hunts. They'd spend nights there. It's been taken over by wolves since then. Wait, did you say wolves? Yes, worries me sick. He calls them his friends and, believe it or not, they seem protective of the boy. Please, don't harm them, Alexios. Arion would be devastated. Whoa! You look like a mighty warrior! And you must be Arion. I've come to bring you home. Why should I trust you?
Your mother and I have known each other for a long time. She told me you like to come here to train, but she wants you to come home. But I don't want to leave. I know. You come here to be close to your father. You know nothing about my pattern. I know when you were a baby, you broke his finger with the strength of Heracles. Pater's fingers were big and tough. That's why I trained, to make these hands strong like his. I understand, but first we need to leave this cave. The wolves are getting hungry. They never eat me. They're my friends. Um, yes, <laughs> your friends. Let's go anyway. Your mother misses you very much. If I do, could you teach me to be a mighty warrior? We'll see. Now come. There you both are. You didn't have to send anyone after me, Mater. I can take care of myself. I know you can, my love. You told him about me, Mater. He knew things. I did. He wanted to know all about you, so you weren't scared of going with him. I wasn't scared. I was brave. Thank you for bringing him home. What are you smiling about? I was just thinking about how I could possibly repay you for bringing Arion home to me. I wouldn't walk around in the open with a price on my head. You're asking for trouble. You owe me nothing. Thank you. You are a true friend, Alexios. Although, if there is one more favor I could ask of you... Anything. Arion wants to be a mighty warrior. But I can't lose any more of my family to war. If Arion learns to fight, he can protect you and the farm. I can't work this farm alone. He won't listen to me, but he looks up to you. I can see it in his eyes. I'll talk to him, but I don't think he's as fond of me as you are. You flatter yourself. Just show him how to plant seeds, burn some old grass, maybe slaughter a few chickens. It will seem more exciting coming from you. Hello, Arion. Hello. What's wrong? I miss my pater. Want to talk about it? No. Okay. You don't have to talk. But you can listen if you want. I guess. I lost my father when I was young. I ran far, far away. My only friend in the world was Icarus. But one day, a bully threw a rock and nearly broke his wing. What did you do? I cut off his fingers with this. The Spear of Leonidas? Can I hold it? You can, but first, I need you to do me a favor. Your mother needs you. You going to train me to be a mighty warrior? Your mother wants you to become a farmer, and that's what I'm going to teach you. But farming is so boring. I want to be a warrior like you. Whenever I see the sunrise, I'm never sure I'll get to see it set. I walk away from the people I love, knowing it might be the last time I ever see them again. Is that the life you want? Good. Now follow me. Now I'm going to show you how to kill a chicken. But I love chickens. If you're going to feed your family, you're going to have to sacrifice a few chickens. You don't have to kill any today, but watch carefully how I do it. Clean and precise. What happened to the bully, whose fingers you cut off? He went and got his brothers. They beat me pretty badly. You didn't have any friends to protect you? Not until one little girl stood between me and those boys, and with the rage of Ares, screamed at them to leave me alone. Really? A girl? Who? That little girl was me. Mater! Alexius taught me how to be a farmer. But you could teach me how to be brave. Maybe one day I will. Yeah. He taught me about Isiavos. He taught me to burn the old, because it soaks the new. And then he killed a bunch of chickens. 
<laughs> Sounds like you both had a productive day. <laughs> Your boy is a fast learner. Thank you. This means the world to me. <laughs> it's been nice having you around, Alexios. But I feel bad. All these years apart, and you've spent most of your time with Arion. Let's get away from all this, just you and me. There is a market in the year. I haven't been to in ages. There's food and wine and music. An evening alone sounds perfect. But what about Arion? Don't worry about him. All you need to worry about is meeting me in the year. Now, let's find something to eat and drink, shall we? <laughs> the merchants have the most delicious selections. And tonight, I'll leave the decision-making to you. Welcome, my friends. I have a wonderful selection of wines for you and the lovely lady. Only the finest grapes from the finest vineyards. Do you prefer your wines dry, sweet, or strong? You've been all over the world. You must know all the best wines. This woman is a single mother who runs her own farm. She likes her wine strong. <laughs> you know me too well. Strong wine is the best wine. Smell that? That's the tastiest food in all of the year. Tell me, what will it be? We have leg of lamb with rice and olives, roast chicken with fresh vegetables, and slow-cooked goat stew. Oh, decisions, decisions. We'll take the lamb with olives, please. Oh, I love olives. I'm going to devour this meal. And then I'm going to devour you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. If you've got sweet teeth, then I've got sweet treats for those teeth. What will it be? Grape pudding with walnuts, fresh strawberries with cream, or baked pears with a honey glaze? Oh, yum! Choose wisely. I love sweets. The pears sound delicious. Homer called them gifts from the gods, but it's the honey that makes them truly divine. This was lovely. Tonight was almost perfect. Almost? There was just one thing missing. <gasps> Arion! What's wrong? My god, what happened to you? Bandits! They came and took everything! I tried to protect the house, but they were too big! Oh, you shouldn't have tried to fight them. Anything they took can be replaced. But I can't replace you. This wouldn't have happened if you had trained me to be a warrior! It'll be all right. Just a few scratches. You're right. He's safe now, and that's what matters. Alexios, there is something I need to tell you. Anything? Having you here was the first time I felt joy since my husband died. I hoped you were still the same person I loved back on Kefalonia. And that if you felt the same, there'd be a place for you here. Anais. The fact that you listened to me and didn't teach Arion to fight shows me you're someone I can trust. I would love it if you stayed with us. I love you, Anais. I've always loved you. But... I know, I know. You always hated staying in one place. Couldn't wait to get off Kefalonia. You were my favorite part of that island. But it's time for me to go. <laughs> I understand. Just know that whenever you are in Arcadia, you'll always be welcome here with open arms.